wabarakatuh Hai guys, welcome back to my podcast With me again, Yayoi Salgura Apulia Today I will talk about why tourism in Palembang didn't let develop like uh, other cities Okay, the guest today is Cynthia Pertiv So Cynthia, let's introduce yourself Okay, hello, my name is Cynthia Pertiv from Four Baby Class So today I'm in a new podcast we will talk about why tourism in Palembang didn't develop like other cities. Hi Cynthia, welcome to my podcast. Hi, thank you for inviting me to this podcast. Yeah, so all right, how are you? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you for asking me. Yeah. So right now, what the activity have you been doing then? Hmm I haven't had any this language. Okay. <laughs> so my purpose in inviting you on this podcast is to talk about tourism in Palembang. Oh, really? It's very okay. interesting. Yes. Yeah, so I will ask uh, you some question about your destination in Palembang. Well, I'm waiting for the question. So, uh, okay. First, what do you think about this destination? Uh, as we know, uh, in the city of Palembang itself, there are a lot of restrictions that can be enjoyed by tourists, everything from the tourism, religious tourism, to artificial tourism that will be certain with charming and giving unique impressions. For the example, is uh, Maro Island, which uh, Maro Island is in, in the middle of the Muzi River. of the pagoda is very similar to the pagoda style of the bamboo in a certain uh, country whereas to the top the pagoda consists of wild uh, bodies placed towards the deadest of sun used by the ethnic and Chinese community in fact several rooms inside the pagoda are also often used by Chinese New Year festival participants to stay overnight oh, okay. That tourist destination in Palembang has developed like other cities. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, so why do you think that tourist destination in Palembang have not developed uh, like other cities? Okay, uh, because in my opinion, tourist destination in the city of Palembang are relatively promoted, thus making tourism in Palembang not famous as other cities. This government should set up the against it take care of promotion like Algeria too. Because the existence of a tourist promotion against it is very necessary if you want to promote existing tourism. Because in a uh, principle, people must know first before uh, wanting to come. So we can start with promotion first and then enter the two package and uh, while mixing the infra, uh, infra Alright, and in your opinion, how do you get tourist destination in Palembang to be promoted uh, properly? Okay, uh, regarding the promotion itself, actually the government does not only get special agency that take care of the promotion but also uh, has cooperation with tourism service association such as the Hotel and Restaurant Association and the Association of Travel Groups. In addition, government uh, system regarding funds and tourists who continue to maintain and maintain tourism can make tourism in the city of Palembang develop 
develop and continue to grow and maintain is sustainable. Okay, then what do you think of how to attract tourists to be interested in visiting tourist destination in Palembang? Okay, so in my opinion, uh, the way to get tourists interested in visiting tourist destination in Palembang can be done by means of promotion. But apart from that, uh, you can add facilities at each tourist spot that take good care of tourist destination and provide the best service facilities. And there's a tourist attraction. If everything looks perfect, then we'll uh, attract the interest of visitors. And when the day visit and turns out to be comfortable, safe, according to expedition, they will also make visitors tell story to other people and recommend tourist for to them and tell these people to visit this place. and equal and in my opinion if the tourist destinations are more complete it will be more comfortable when we visit there okay so if is there anything else you will like to say about climate city tourism mm, i think that's enough uh, because talking about tourism is endless because there are so many obstacles and problems in the world tourism in city of Alemba. And I also hope that the government makes extra effort to the more tourism in the city of Palembang. And also, of course, must need support from the people of Palembang to the itself to the more tourism together. Okay, alright Cynthia, I think that's enough for today. Nice to meet you.